Japanese travelers are getting used to a new concept, budget airlines. Believe it or not, the first low-cost carrier, or LCC, took to the skies just one year ago. Since then, two other carriers offering cut-rate prices have started up. In today's in-depth report, we look at the progress being made in the fledging industry and its prospects for the future. Peach Aviation was Japan's first budget carrier. All Nippon Airways is the main stakeholder. Peach is based in Kansai International Airport near Osaka. Six months after a startup, it reported average seat occupancy of 79 percent. The other two carriers are based at Narita Airport near Tokyo. Jetstar Japan is a joint venture between the Australian budget carrier Jetstar and Japan Airlines. AirAsia Japan is another joint venture. ANA has a stake in this business too, teaming up with Malaysia's Air Asia. Six months after launching, these two companies were reporting seat occupancy in the mid 60s. They haven't released any new figures since then. All three LCCs promised to shake up the airline industry, but their first challenge was to get Japanese passengers on board with a novel idea no frills service. Kansai International Airport, home base for Peach Aviation. The airport was built on reclaimed land over Osaka Bay. Planes land and depart 24 hours a day. Peach took to the skies in March last year. Operating two Airbus A320s, it started 14 flights a day. One year later, Peach is flying eight planes on six domestic and three international routes, 46 trips a day. The LCC business model runs on a twin strategy. Keep planes in the air and operating costs down. Budget airlines focus on short-haul routes and fast turnarounds. Cutting free in-flight services such as food and drinks helps to keep down costs. That means cheap tickets for passengers. But Japanese are known to be demanding consumers. They take time to embrace no-frills air travel. I heard how cramped the flights were, but the prices are incredibly cheap. From the start, Peach is focused on keeping its planes flying on time. Its track record so far is impressive. When a snowstorm hit Hokkaido last winter, other budget carriers had to cancel flights. But Peach got most of its passengers back to Osaka the same day. That's because Kansai Airport is open 24 hours. Peach's cancellation rate for the past year is just 1 percent. It had no cancellations at all in April. Our main concern has been quality transportation. We aim to provide carrier services on a continual basis. In this sense, I believe we have been given good reviews for the reliable service we are providing. A key challenge for Peach was to re-educate passengers used to premium service in the air. Many Japanese still treat air travel as a luxury experience. They often turn up at departure gates late, expecting the planes to wait. Flight delays are not uncommon. Budget airlines can't afford delays. So Peach created a fast check-in system. Tickets have barcodes that are scanned in just five seconds. Planes depart on time with or without all the passengers. There has been some confusion about low-cost flights because it is different from the standard service model. But there were fewer misunderstandings once people came to understand the reason behind the cheap prices. Last October, Kansai Airport opened a new terminal exclusively for budget airlines. It offers fast clearance for international connections. Peach aims to use the new facility as a launching pad for expanding its business into Asia. We want our business to be a model for the Asian region. We will not fly to Europe and the U.S. There's a good reason for that. Flight times from Kansai Airport to Asian countries are one hour shorter than flying from eastern Japan. We focused on Kansai Airport for this very reason, because it will allow us to provide more flights. 
Well, Peach is flying high, but its two rivals seem to be having a harder time gaining altitude. One reason is their base of operation, Narita Airport. Jetstar Japan flies seven domestic routes and Air Asia Japan flies five routes, but they're both having trouble filling seats. One problem is their high rate of cancellations. Japanese airlines have an average cancellation rate of 0.9 percent. The rate for Jetstar between October and December was 1.3 percent, and for Air Asia, 1.5 percent. One reason for that is Narita Airport's limited operating hours. It's closed between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. Bad weather can turn a delay into a cancellation. Moves to extend the opening hours have long been resisted by residents in the area. After much negotiating, airport officials in March finally won a small concession from local authorities. Planes can now take off and land until 12 a.m., but only in cases of bad weather or other unavoidable circumstances. We agreed to this based on the Open Skies Agreement because Narita Airport has a shared destiny with the local community. For the sake of mutual prosperity and coexistence, we had no other choice. It was my decision and a very painful one on my part. Economic motives help dissuade local officials. They hope more budget carriers will base their operations in the area. Jetstar says they'll add two more routes from Narita. But Air Asia is looking for a fresh start in central Japan. It is planning to create a second operational base at Chubu International Airport near Nagoya City. The two lagging budget carriers will need to move quickly to solve their teething problems. Aviation analyst Kazuki Sugiura says there are big stakes to play for and competition is heating up. What are your prospects for the low-cost carrier market here in Japan? Right now, the three low-cost carriers in Japan do not have enough airliners and routes. So for the next few years, it is anticipated these carriers will compete fiercely to secure main domestic routes, which will eventually bring about an expansion in their overall fleet size and number of routes. The LCC market share in Japan is expected to grow considerably over the next two years. Right now, it accounts for just 3%. Once these carriers develop their businesses, there will be fierce competition to secure new routes. In order to survive under these circumstances, the carriers must continue to revamp themselves by making sufficient cost cuts and providing cheap airfares. Those that fail to do so will eventually withdraw from the market and give way to new companies. Do you think Japan's low-cost carriers will be able to compete in Asia? Many leading budget airlines in Asia have already established considerable know-how in the low-cost carrier business, having entered this market well over 10 years ago. Japan has to work fast to catch up to these LCC brands and gain enough expertise to eventually overtake them. I think Japan's peach aviation is on the right path. It's popular for the unique color on its fuselage and for providing passengers with an enjoyable flight experience. Peach's CEO Shinichi Inoue says the company not only aims to provide cheap airfares but strives to provide a high quality service tailored to Japanese passengers. Providing high quality service is difficult. Difficult. It means reducing flight delays and maintaining a high in-service rate. It also means providing good service to every customer. Doing this all year round is easier said than done, and there are many companies unable to do so. In this respect, Peach offers something unique and exceptional compared to its two Asian competitors. If the company can maintain this quality service, it has the potential of becoming a very strong 
LCC competitor.